Hello, welcome to All Levels Kickboxing, class number two. Uh, I'm Mr. Melendez, and you're going to follow along with me today with a uh, warm-up. We're going to do a um, striking session and practicing kicks. We're gonna, and this class, we're going to teach you guys how to do a good, powerful side kick. And then we'll finish up with a drill. So let's put our feet together, arms out. Do my best. Okay, and on spot. All right, so uh, guys, for, for this whole class, I want you guys to focus on putting 100% effort in whatever we do. Any technique we do, if we're gonna do a punch or a kick, I want you guys to focus on putting as much power into that. Put 100% effort. Um, don't just go like, you know, just lazily doing it. Put 100% effort into everything. And also, um, yeah, you're gonna need a chair for actually one of the stretches we're gonna do later in the class. Okay, so um, for the whole class, and even for, like for every punch, for every block, for every kick, you need to breathe deep into your stomach. So take all the air, don't breathe into your chest, breathe into your stomach, and your stomach should expand. And then when you breathe the air out, your uh, stomach should be contracting or squeezing flat. Okay, so do this throughout the whole class, and if you can, implement this breathing technique when uh, throughout your normal day when you're walking, uh, when you're doing, um, say, if you're going to the gym or just sitting at your desk or watching TV, just breathe that way. Change your breathing uh, habits. Okay, so let's do, let's actually start with on our knees. Let's go down our knees. And then we're going to take uh, 10 deep breaths into our deep into, into our core. Okay, uh, exhale first. Inhale. And then breathe out with by breathing out with through your throat. One. that breathing into your movements. Okay, and standing tall. And butterfly rolls. So here, try to go as far as you can back. And bring your neck, raise your head up. Like it's attached to a string. And have a a nice strong stance, pushing down deep into the ground with your feet, gripping the floor with your toes. Now arms stretched outward, like spears stretching to the side, rotations while you're maintaining that deep breathing. Okay, now wrist rotations, strong wrists for strong punches. Okay, now neck, rotations. Okay, now hips. And don't move the sides with your waist. Move your hips, the balls. This is your hinge point. Whenever you bend, you hinge from this ball, these balls, this pivot point. This is the new hinge point in your life. Now knees, rotations in the knees, both directions. If you can't, if there's pain in your body, you can just skip one of those parts. 
Okay, now knee, ra knee raises, standing tall, pulling the knee straight to the diagonal. Make sure your planted foot is locked and solid. Maintain that breath. Okay, now this one, go into a, a, a walking stance. And just put your weight 50-50 more or less. Maybe slightly more weight in the front. And let's go arms stretched out. Let's do the opposite side now today. It should look like this. So the right leg back, right arm out. Pushing with both uh, feet straight into the ground. And the, the planted leg should be locked. Try to lock it and activate your glutes. So you might have to go longer. If you're taller, you might have to go longer and uh, deeper. Bring your neck back. Other side. Okay, quick stretching now. So let's do um, first splits. Actually, let's do a hinge first and touch the ground. So let's go hands up and. Feet shoulder width apart, hanging here, bouncing, 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 touch the floor, arms up again, feet together now, and hinging at your hips here, hinging at the hips here, touch the floor, if you can, hands behind your calves, try to pull yourself deeper. Okay, now let's go hands to our side. Let's do side splits. Support yourself on the ground with your arms. I don't have to move this stuff. Okay. So first do toes to the side and bounce here for a second. Try to put your weight over your center. Then slowly if you can, pull your heels, uh, toes to the sky. This part's the more painful one, painful part for me. Okay, and bouncing here. Okay, sitting down. Reaching up. <sighs> Hammering your calves, or your, yeah, your calves. Or sorry, your, your thighs. Reaching forward. Okay, let's quickly bring this up. Ugh. Okay, now for the chair. Uh, this one's for the fr front. For your front. Instead of vertical splits, we're just going to do leg raises. So use a chair here. Um, you could use a, a bar here too. Or even the wall. Uh, but I think a chair is good. Just do it starting belt, belt height. Lift your leg up. Make sure your toes are pointed forward. And actually, I'd, I'd actually recommend chair this way. It's actually safer. Let's do right leg first. Oh. And then planted leg is straight and locked, pointed forward. Notice if your hips are, if you have a mirror, if your hips are twisted. Lock your leg. Do the, perform the deep breathing for three breaths. Okay, switch.
Good job. If you're having any trouble to lift your leg that high, you can always just put your leg like this and go down. And just trying to sit, sit on one side, but keep that leg straight. Okay, now for the side splits. Or oh, sorry, leg raises. Actually, no, we did side splits, so that's okay. Okay, and. Okay, quickly warm up. Okay, calf raises, 10 on spot, go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's just do an extra one here. Now in your in your fighting stance, balancing on spot, right leg back. Just, I'll switch. I'll do a mirror. It'll be a mirrored. So just mirror whatever I do. And stance switches in spot. Keeping your hands up and breathing. Staying on the balls of your feet. Okay, now jumping jacks. Is ready to calf raise the squats now. Feet shoulder width apart, arms out. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now face the side. You can, just to show you the side, how it looks. 10 more now. 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, if you're ever gonna do sitting stance holds, they should look like this. And now from the side, back completely straight and pushing forward here. I recommend that do that one minute every day. That'd be so good for your legs. Okay, and now, oh yeah, let's do uh, push-ups. We're gonna do ten uh, open hand, ten knuckle. And if you can't do uh, knuckle, just do open hand. Okay, down we go. Good job, warm up over. So now's a good time to get some water while I discuss a couple things. Okay. All right, so uh, my advice is that you don't, as a fighter or a practitioner, don't fall in love with rank. Belts mean nothing. I've seen, uh, I've seen um, white belts beat green belts, and I've seen red belts beat black belts. 
in tournaments and such, so I never fall uh, in love with your own rank and always stay humble because there's always some other fighter out there that's better than you. And if you want to become powerful, you have to humble yourself and when you go to a new school, don't act like you know everything. Just, just start from the ground level because you act like you know nothing. And when people come to tell you advice, just listen and take their advice and add it to your own, uh, like your own style. Okay, so standing up. Okay, now we're gonna do hand strikes for this uh, next portion. So uh, we're gonna go into our fighting stance. Uh, just to make a fist, you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna roll them as tight as possible. And I mean as tight as possible. And you're gonna lock your fist with your thumb. And you're gonna connect with every strike with these two knuckles. Now do knuckle push-ups on these three as well as these two when you train it alone. But you're wanting to aim with this one because these two bones align with a major bone structure here. Whereas this only has these small bones. So if you hit something here, you might break your bone here. Or you're probably gonna break your bone. Okay, so aim here. And that's how you make a fist. All right. Just, I'm gonna mirror it, so I'll step right like that. Uh, put your right leg back. Now I want you guys to do your jab. So your jab is your hand in front. So this side. It's essentially like you're reaching out and grabbing something. And you want to have relaxed shoulders. And you want to have relaxed hips. Because relaxed shoulders and relaxed hips help with that punching power. Okay, so in our fighting stance, we're going to do 10 jab cross. And we're going to go hands up and go. Jab, cross. Now let's do it together, like one, one, two, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Well done. Okay, now. Oh yes. Um. Okay. Okay. Now for hooks. So you go uh, right leg back, and it's mirrored. I'm mirroring you. And you're gonna go lead hook first. It's gonna be thumb up. Um, make it make an L. Put it in front of you. You're gonna turn your hips essentially to make power to generate power. Thumb up, thumb away, and you're gonna have. Um, hit with all four of your knuckles. Now reach as far as you can and we're gonna go hook. Now this hand is here to protect yourself and other side. This one comes back to your chin. Hook and return. Now breathe out as you punch or kick from deep within. And let's go hands up. Hands to your chin. And go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Well done. Okay, now we're gonna do uppercuts. So uppercut, I'm just gonna show you, teach it from you. Teach it to you from my right leg stance, just cause I'm a little bit more comfortable there. And then I'll do the, we'll follow along with me in the other stance so you can mirror it. Okay, so uh, uppercut is essentially, you're gonna have your hands here and your chin always at your starting point, just so you can protect yourself. And with your blocks, if anything comes at you, you're gonna take your right hand, start, you're gonna drop it down to your hips and to your belt level of your waist and you're gonna drop your weight. And then essentially you're going to push off the ground uh, with the, the uh, push off the, the ground with your feet and push with, as hard as you can with your legs. 
Essentially, you're trying to explode to the, through the sky. And you're gonna push off the ground and breathe out while you throw up your, your hook. So your uppercut. And how much time do we have left here? Okay, you got three minutes. Okay. So hands to your chin, and I'm gonna switch my stance. Okay, uh, sorry, starting position. Or sorry, ready stance. And fighting stance. Hey! Right leg back. Now we're gonna go, uh, head jab, so cook. Yeah, and uh, uppercut, uppercut. One, two, uppercut, uppercut, chin. Return to your chin, and go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just gonna do a few more because I think I want to make them better. Now, this is for power. This is for speed. So you can do any punch, powerful, which would be more slow, or faster, and it would be less powerful. Okay. So, excuse me. Good job with those uppercuts. Okay, now, let's number all the punches. One to six. So, combo stance. Hut! Okay, we're gonna go jab is one, cross is two, uh, hook is three, lead hook, uh, other hook is four, Shh. uppercut is five, Shh. and other uppercut is six, Shh. and return. Okay, so let's call the numbers together. And actually, do I need to? Yeah, I do. Okay, fighting stance. And I'm going to call the number and we're going to do it together, okay? One. One. Two. One. Two. Three. 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 One. 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 Two. Two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Hands to your chin, return. Just focusing on technique. And again, let's do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, chin. Okay, now five, six, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, one, two. One, one, three. One, one, four. Two, four. Two four two two one one two one three four one one five six one one five six one one two five six one one three four well done Okay, hey, go get some water. Okay, so now for the jab cross, we're gonna go in our fighting stance and we're gonna go jab, we're gonna reach forward with our lead hand. We're gonna step, jab, full extension, and now, a small step to cross together and bring this arm with our leg. But as you're doing that, these two arms are like a rope pulling. 
If this goes out, this pulls. If this pushes out, this is pulling. Okay? So let's do it together. Hands up. Let's do 10 of those. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job. Okay, now moving to the kicks portion of the class. So now I want you guys to go deep into your, we're gonna do more of like a karate style front kick. So you're gonna go into a deep walking stance. You're gonna take your right leg and step deep uh, into that. It should be shoulder width apart. Uh, and it should be, actually for this drill, I want you guys to have it like as deep as you can. So you're gonna have to activate these glute muscles here. That's why actually in the original Karate, they just train like this, they didn't fight like this. They just train like this to activate their muscles and make themselves stronger. Okay, so you're gonna sink into that hip. Make sure that back leg's flat. If you're taller, you go flatter. This should be like a table pretty much. We'll try to get it like that. And you check your toe. You can only see your big toe from the angle here. Okay, you're just gonna do, uh, we're not doing punches. We're just gonna do from here, front kick. So you're gonna go, from, I'm gonna turn this side now. You're gonna go knee up. And actually try to stay bent here. Try to actually stay bent. You're gonna go like that. Have your weight here. So you go knee up, front kick with the balls of your foot. The ball. And return. So hands up, nice bend, walking stance. Return. Okay, let's do 10 on each leg. And Right leg back. Wait, I'll mirror you. Right leg back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Let's do a few more, just because we want to make that better. Three more. And return, switch. The left leg back, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep your arms to your side, don't use your arms. You're just gonna focus on your legs and, your, and going forward with your hips. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Good job, return. Shake your legs out. Maybe do a little stretch. Just pull. 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 <clears throat> okay guys, so now side kick. Uh, we're gonna go over the side kick. So side kick, you're gonna stand uh, uh, with your feet para uh, parallel. And you're gonna go hands up knee goes up and you're gonna bring your knee as you're gonna try to stand as straight as you can with your head over your center and push off the floor with your planted foot your knee is gonna to try to go all the way to your chest and you're gonna to try to angle that like a piston uh, that's gonna punch forward it's like actually like the chamber for your punch except this one is for your, your sidekick now, as it's called side kick, the kick comes from to the side, or comes from the side. So, 
you're in your uh, front stance, you have to step into like a side stance to execute this. Unless you went ahead and just stepped into a, a side kick, right? But anyway, let's just do that one again, a little slower. Step, chain bring, and fire. Now to make it stronger, you can throw a punch too, actually. But actually just focus on the, the side. Okay, so side stance, chamber, looking where you're gonna kick, and kick. Now make sure you snap it back up in and out, and make sure your butt's not sticking out. So your chamber, and your head's nice and tall, and nice and high up, kick. Okay, let's do 10 on each side. There's one detail I forgot to mention actually. When you're about to fire your kick out, make sure your planted foot pivots. That will generate significant power to your attack. Okay, let's do 10 on each leg. Okay, so let's do the left leg first. Okay, hands to our side, hands up. Try to keep your hands up the whole time and your head up. Don't lean like that. Go. Aim belt height. If it's too hard for you, aim shin height. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, and one for fun. Okay, ten on the other leg. Hands up. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, go get some water. Okay, um, we're gonna do a little challenge now. It's gonna be me versus you guys. So we're gonna go in a fighting stance, and I'm gonna try to attack you, and you're gonna try to defend with these three different movements that counter three specific of my movements. So if I'm in my fighting stance, and I punch directly straight to you, you cover it like this with your two, um, with an inner forearm block, a double inner forearm block. So put it nice and tight to your head, and that will help uh, uh, you absorb those uh, incoming blows now if i do a hook hook any hook you just duck so we went over that in the first class you just essentially drop your weight don't um, drop your head forward or shoot you're gonna get kicked in the head and also look up where you're keep looking forward do not look down okay and then also uh the last one is oh yeah Oh yeah, I guess I could just do, I'll, if I do a kick, any kick, like a push kick to you, you just have to take a step back. So what you're going to do is, you're not going to step back like that, you're just going to go um, right leg back. You're gonna, so you're in your fighting stance, right leg's back, you're going to lift your right leg, your right heel up, and you're going to push off with your lead foot, so that you can back away safely. So you back away safely, you come in, and also if I go like this, that means I'm completely open. You have to attack with a one, two, three, four. So jab, cross, hook, hook, quickly, okay? Let's do the jab, cross, hook, hook together fast. And one, two, three, four. A little faster. One, two, three, four. Good work, okay. So are you ready? You versus me. Three, two, one. And go. Oh yeah. I'll telegraph the first round.
and return. Good job. Okay, so get a, quick, a deep breath. In your fighting stance. Cut. Okay, round two, last round, best round, even faster. Three, two, one. Good work, good work. And open. One, two, three, four. Good job, I felt that one. Ten seconds left. And one, two, three, four. Good job. Okay, well done, get some water. Okay guys, so now to finish up the class, we're gonna do um, combinations moving forward and we're gonna implement those hand strikes and kicks so that you can, and kind of explain a couple moments when you're able to use those, those uh, types of strikes or techniques. Okay, so, we're going to go into our fighting stance, and then first, you're going to just go with right leg back. You're going to go step, and as you step, you're punching with your jab, and then you're going to do a small step, cross, reset. It's a super small step. And then step and reset. Reset your, uh, restabilize your balance. Okay, so you're going to do jab cross to the very end, and return. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to mirror you. Uh, so you're going to go right leg forward, and I'm mirroring you. Three, two, one, and go. Try to keep those jab crosses nice and tight. Okay, return to the end, and do that like about two more times. Go. Keep your hands up. Okay, good job. Okay, now you're gonna do in your fighting stance, you're gonna go with your right leg back, you're gonna go jab, cross, step forward. So I shall mirror you, you're gonna go jab, cross, and step, side kick. Now your jabs, you're gonna go two jabs, one, jab, two, jab to the head, cross, step forward to the head. Now they're covering the head. Now you're gonna step and side kick to the center. Okay? Okay. We'll start from the end here. I'm gonna mirror you, right leg back, and go. Just start up slow, building on your technique, and just build it faster at your own comfort level. Let's do it about three runs forward, and go. Shh, 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 shh,
two more bar. Okay, well done, good job. Okay, now let's do uh let's use the front kick now. Hands up. Okay, we're gonna go. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So this one is to close the distance. The opponent is far away from you. You're gonna go hands up. You're gonna go right leg back, knee up. You're gonna go front kick, land, front kick. Now you land, now you close the distance. You felt, you, you landed right in front of them. Jab, cross, hook, hook, return, okay? And let's work on that one now. And go. Try to have your shoulders relax. I have to work on that myself. It's always, always a tense person, right? <laughs> Just correct yourself. You know what's wrong. You know the mistakes you make. And if you try to, like, go faster than you're able to, you're gonna cheat yourself only. So just, if you can't kick up here, just kick centered height, knee up. Even if it's lower, just slowly work up higher and higher. And as I'm talking, you're still working on that drill. Okay, I'm gonna now work on your other side. So you go left leg back. Oh yeah, so front kick now. Front kick, land. It's like you're just walking forward. And last one. Whoops. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna have a race. You guys versus me. You're gonna, we're gonna do the front kick first and then the side kick. We're gonna do who can beat, who's the fastest to do 10 of the kicks per leg. So example, up we go in our fighting stance. Doesn't matter which leg you do, but you gotta do 10 front kicks nice and strong with good technique, and at least with your knee raising above your belt. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Good job. Okay, now 10 side kicks each. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, starting with any leg you want first. You're gonna go up and 10. Go. I think you guys beat me. Good job, guys. Well done. I hope you guys uh, learned a lot in that class. It certainly kicked my ass. Okay, feet together, arms out. I did my best.